let's see these reactions. What are these reactions? No, what did I do? I did one set with Grignard's reagent. I did one set with nitrating mixture. I did. I'm going to do one set with NaOH. These are all the reactions which are there in your book with NaOH, right? So basically, sodium hydroxide. They've given different different temperatures. See here. Now, once the reaction the temperature is 623 Kelvin. Here it is 443 Kelvin. Here it is 368 Kelvin. So whatever is like reaction conditions vary means the product also varies. But here, remember, whenever you are finding any OH in the paper, done. So now basically this is your Dow's reaction, Dow's test, Dow's process also, which we speak where we have taken any OH. Now careful. Now whenever you have any OH, now you have look here. This is alkyl aryl halide. Now this is your nucleophile. Any OH is going to supply this nucleophile sodium hydroxide strong, right? This OH is going to replace this Cl. You get alcohol. Now let us see this reaction. Now temperature is given to us six. Uh, 623 now here 443 now NaOH is present now this is this is going to break here this nucleophile Cl is going to be replaced by OH so I'm getting it now let's see this reaction again one more NaOH is given to me a different temperature so what should I write I need to take write NO2 here also NO2 and I need to write OH that's it simple don't get confused and don't sit in by heart the this in only thing you have to remember is replace the halogen with OH now let us come back and see this now cyclo compound is given to me i need to take that ch2 take out that br and replace with oh and nabr is out done let's come back to see this now you have phenol now what happened here in this particular case when i have phenol i said phenol with sodium hydroxide is going to first form stable phenoxide ion then only it's going to convert so first it will form sodium phenoxide water h2o comes out don't get, try to write a different product phenol if you see it has to form phenoxide that is sodium phenoxide o na plus water don't get confused but all these are sodium hydroxide reactions only now now suppose if sodium hydroxide is with an acid this is a base this is an acid we very well know acid plus base gives me salt plus water so acid is this benzoic acid sodium hydroxide is this so what do we get i'm going to get salt coo na plus water done this is your sodium uh, listen benzoate now suppose if i have acid plus base what should i write i have to write ch3 coo na plus water that's it so these are all the reactions of your sodium hydroxide now thing to get confused in the paper so careful so all these reactions under different different chapters are written under one table like this in this way let's come back and see one more set now see here now this we have many name reactions here with sodium hydroxide and bromine i have hoffman's bromomide reaction okay now these are all sodium hydroxide reactions hoffman's bromomide reaction that is one set next one more sodium hydroxide i have kolb's reaction one more sodium hydroxide I have with riemann tiemann reaction. One more sodium hydroxide I have with Gabri Gabriel thalamide. So, please practice. I have already done Hoffman's. Watch the video. I have done Kolb's also. Watch the video. riemann tiemann also is done with sodium hydroxide. One more Gabriel thalamide synthesis from primary mean also I did. Let's come back and do this reaction. This is very important elimination reaction. So, in the exam, observe carefully, you are given bromine with sodium hydroxide and water. Basically, what is this reaction? See here. Now, this compound, I am going to write like this. C is one carbon here. Done. This is one more CH3. Yeah. Now, this is your, now this is CH3. Now, this is your hydrogen now this is ch2 ch3 group now sodium hydroxide i said this is going to break here what happened in this case it has replaced cl with oh here also same thing but uh, it's going to break there's no uh, this one isn't it now you have your bromine in this case done this is your bromine now this oh is going to replace this bromine but what happened here hydrogen is a smaller atom so it can easily link it or join this here and you get oh minus from this side what product do i get i am going to get c it's going to invert the whole configuration it's going to reverse walden inversion in this way you get ch3 here your hydrogen is here your ch2 ch3 is here and your oh is here and br minus is one that's it so this is the product of this inversion walden inversion so as i said i did kolbs also i did riemann tiemer also just to show you that sodium hydroxide is common to all i have written the reactions here now suppose if i see this reaction in ester acid when i take i got salt and water 
with sodium hydroxide here when i took so uh, alkyl halide uh, br is replaced with oh right basically it's supplying the oh minus now when i when you take ester again it's going to break here yeah this is also going to break here and it's going to form yeah product ch3 now see here ch3 ch2 ch2 coo na plus c2h5 oh done this is your product now this is Gabriel thalamide which I already did in earlier reactions. Let's come back and see the next set of reactions. Right. Now let's come back and see the next set of reactions here. I'm going to basically speak about anhydrous AlCl3. So what is this? Anhydrous AlCl3 is a Lewis acid. So remember that. So what are we going to do here? I have listed out all the reactions which are there in your textbook. Now see here, anhydrous AlCl3 is used in one of the name reaction that is Gatterman Koch reaction. Now observe carefully, whenever you have anhydrous AlCl3, there are two things. Either they will give you methyl chloride or they may give you acetyl chloride. So this is methyl chloride, acetyl chloride. Look here, acetyl chloride, right? Here you have benzoyl chloride, basically with aromatic ring. Here methyl chloride, then benzoyl chloride. Uh, uh, here they have given ethyl, I mean means, uh, here acetyl chloride with acetic acid. So here they have given yeah, with ethyl group. Yeah, again acetyl chloride here methyl chloride that means basically anhydrous AlCl3 is given the combination of two important things or three rather one is your methyl chloride CH3Cl or with your CH3COCl or with your benzene ring with COCl okay these are the combinations only three combinations in whole of your textbook so whenever you get anhydrous AlCl3 I said it is a Lewis acid it's going to accept that electron pair done now so here when you take CH3Cl, it's going to break here. Then this Cl is accepted by AlCl3. What do you get? You're going to get a product which is at ortho and para position. Para is a major product because it is symmetrical. Now here same thing. You need to cleave the bond here. You have AlCl3 I said. It's going to pick up this and Lewis acid is going to form AlCl4 minus. Now what product do you get? You're going to get, you're going to draw the same ring ortho careful you need to link it with COCH3 ortho product and you're going to get one more product Cl with COCH3 para this is a major product now again acetyl chloride AlCl3 break the bond here benzene ring with ortho COCH3 ortho position and COCH3 at para position okay simple you need to break the bond and this Cl is picked up by AlCl3 everywhere all are the same concept and here you have Gatterman Koch synthesis with anhydrous AlCl3 so I picked up this you can watch the video for this reaction name reaction I'll not directly write here because I wish to show you the mechanism and then only write so you can watch anhydrous with anhydrous AlCl3 Gatterman reaction let's come back to this reaction now you have two things benzene as well as benzoyl chloride here you have anhydrous AlCl3 observe carefully being the Lewis acid this is going to pick up this chlorine and forms AlCl4 minus now join these two look here I have joined both rings now one more here with benzene as I said is the same condition see here AlCl3 and methyl chloride I have two nothing to do you have a, a anhydrous AlCl3 means it has to pick up the Cl minus forming AlCl4- and the CH3 is joined here. Done. So if I have this particular combination, see here, <coughs> you have your uh, two things, one, methyl chloride, right, and you have methoxy also. Both the groups are here. What should you do? You have anhydrous AlCl3. What will it do? It, it This anhydrous AlCl3 will pick up this chlorine and join these two. Look here. It's going to join these two. Now let us write for this. Here you have anhydrous AlCl3, okay, AlCl3. 3, you have benzene ring and aryl ring here what will it do it's going to pick up this ring and what do you get you are going to get a uh, benzene ring so what which one coar that means there are two ring aryl rings here plus alcl4 minus simple isn't it let's come back to see this here you have been given a solvent that is carbon disulfide so what is anhydrous AlCl3 doing it's going to break the bond here this is your Cl3 what will it do it's going to join these two compounds careful this is COC2H5 and AlCl4 minus done
that's it now this is one more uh, reaction where you have to see you have to be very very careful yeah in this particular reaction you have cadmium now you have to be careful here we are going to take two moles of acetyl chloride run why because cadmium combines with these two moles that means chlorine is two moles here and this becomes cadmium chloride and what else is left this is going to break the bond here c6h5 here ch2 again c6h5 ch2 and this is uh, forming isn't it now observe carefully you have co CH3 okay now how many do you have you have two isn't it here two because chlorine is two this has come out so what do you get you are going to get the compound like this so how many two methyls and this one so you are going to get twice this is twice the compound okay done so let me see one more this is benzene with methyl chloride and had this AlCl3 this Cl4 is picked up by this you get AlCl4 minus and what do you get you're going to get toline CH3 that's it so remember one thing whenever you have your anhydrous AlCl3 you need it acts as a Lewis acid and picks up that chlorine and the leftover is joined by this